Hey guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Narbona. Welcome on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. Well, I have, I have a lot of people. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. So guys, buenas noches. Mi nombre es Alejandro Narbona. Today we're going to start a new experience. Um, let me see. I have only guys here. Everybody unmute your microphones, please. I want to hear from you. Can you hear me? Todos están en mute, señores. No le oigo a nadie. Ah, okay, nice. I see. Yeah, yeah. There's life. I see. Hay vida. Okay, guys. So, como les mencionaba antes, mi nombre es Alejandro Narbona. Les doy la bienvenida en nombre de Inglés Corporativo. Now, um, I'm, I like to give the instructions in Spanish. Me gusta dar las instrucciones en español. Um, my friends, tengo tres reglas para la clase. Okay? Rule number one is that I need you to try. Do you know the meaning of try? ¿Saben cuál es el, el significado de try? Intentar. Okay. Intentar, exactly. So, necesito que intenten. Okay? This is already, what, intermediate one. Intermedio uno. Sí, ya. Yeah. Ya dan paso solitos. Okay. Rule number two. Don't be sorry. Say it with me, please. Don't be sorry. Díganlo conmigo. Don't be sorry. Don't be, Don't sorry. be sorry. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. Guys, you are here to make mistakes. Ustedes están acá para cometer errores y yo estoy para ayudar. Okay. Vamos a poder descubrir sus áreas de mejora y vamos a poder encarrilarlos. All right? Mejorarlos. So, what is rule number one? ¿Cuál es la regla número uno? Try. 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 What is rule number two? Don't be Don't sorry. Be sorry. Sorry. Don't sorry. sorry. Exactly. Don't and be rule sorry. Rule number three is respect. Okay. I think respect. That's, I think that's one of the most important ones so we can respect. Para que nos podamos respetar todos. Now, a couple of things. Casi siempre les pido que tengan la cámara encendida, así yo puedo ver su cara, su articulación. Es opcional, ¿ok? No es una obligación. Pero sí me gustaría llegar a conocerlos un poquito, más que solo ver, por ejemplo, un nombre, como por ejemplo, Galaxy Note 8. I don't know si es hombre, mujer. Ahí este, si necesitan instrucciones, como cómo ponerle nombre, pues yo con gusto les ayudo si es su primera clase. Sí que me gustaría. Okay, no, no sé cómo cambiar el nombre porque lo acabo de instalar, pero yo lo hago luego. Yo lo hago. Soy okay. Rodolfo Hernández. Nice to meet you, Rodolfo. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. So, um, pueden tener la cámara siempre encendida, a menos que estén desnudos. Ahí no. No queremos problemas. We don't want any type of issues. And uh, another very important thing is the background noise. ¿Cómo se dice sonido ambiente, guys? Back. Background noise. Background noise, exactly. So, sé que muchas veces es imposible mantenerlo a cero. Right? Que de pronto el chucho, que, que los niños, que el, el esposo, la esposa, etc. So, don't worry about it, pero traten de siempre mantenerlo al mínimo. Si, ¿Saben ustedes cómo ponerse mute y quitarse mute? Yes. 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 Good. Para los que están en mute y no saben cómo quitarlo, por si acaso, en su nombre arriba a la derecha dice mute o on mute. Si le sale el microfonito rojo es porque lo tienen apagado el micrófono. Y a la par también está la cámara. Ok. So, what are my rules, guys? ¿Cuáles son las reglas? What is rule number one? Try. 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 Exactly. Try. Try. Number two. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. Yeah, right. And number three? Respect. 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 Okay. So, I think you're ready to get it started. Now, generally, generalmente les voy a pedir que ustedes repitan. Try to repeat after me. Um, it doesn't matter if you're muted. No importa que ustedes estén mute. I always need to hear you. So, we can start developing our speaking skills para que podamos empezar a desarrollar las Habilidades del idioma, los músculos, cómo articular y todo. I do not expect perfection, but I expect you to try. Okay? Now, do you have any questions before we start? 
¿Alguna pregunta antes que empecemos? No. No, teacher. No, 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 Tell me. Uh, I don't have access to the portal. Oh, okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I already reported, but uh, I don't have a solution yet. Okay. So give me a second. Are you in the group? Está en el grupo? Yes. All right. Just give me a second here. Okay. So you have the link. What is your name, sir? Ennio. Eugenio? No, Ennio. E-W-N-I-O. Uh -huh. And your last name? Cruz. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. Nice. Cada vez que ustedes tengan un inquire, guys, me gusta tratar de darle seguimiento inmediatamente. So we can have an answer, okay? I have a question, teacher. Go ahead. My name is Romulo Romero. Este, okay. uh, yo tuve problemas también con entrar a la plataforma de aprendizajes. Okay. All right, give me a second. Voy a poner el señor, no se ofenda si todavía no le pega el señor, ¿ok? Es por habilidad. Rómulo Romero. Sí. Ok. All right, thank you very much, guys. So, let's get it started. I need you to please repeat after me. Si sienten que voy muy rápido, pues me dicen. Y yo con gusto voy, voy moderando. Pero siempre voy a tratar de sacarles lo máximo que se pueda. Y así ustedes van aprendiendo sus habilidades de escucha. So, read it with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Mm -hmm. Here. Ob. 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 Objective. So, we go like this. Ob. Objective. Lesson objective. Nice. Ahí vamos. By the end of this class, by the end of this class, by the end of this class, this class, this class, this class you will be able you will to be, talk about your past you will using. Be, uh -huh. You will be you will able, be able to, talk to talk about your about past your using past. was, uh -huh. where, 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 and various, and various regular. regular and regular verbs. And regular verbs. And regular verbs. Nice. Con el reading, guys, esperan que yo termine y luego van ustedes. No se preocupen Así. que la primera clase siempre es un deschongue. Okay? And please, do not repeat more than two times. So, two times maximum. Okay? Example. Okay. Example. 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 I was born Example. in Korea. I was, I was born, born in, in Korea. 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 I grew up in the United States. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I moved here 10 years ago. years ago. Exactly. Now, I might not hear you all. Puede que no los escuche a todos, pero sí puedo notar ciertas cositas que vamos a ir moderando. Okay? So here we are going to link it. Vamos a unirlo. Link is unir. I moved here. I moved here 10 I years moved ago. Here. I moved here. here. Yeah. Yeah. I moved here 10. Mm -hmm. 10 years ago. 10 years ago. ago. Exactly. Good. Try to repeat exactly as you hear it. Tratan de repetir exactamente como lo escuchan. I didn't speak English. I, I didn't, didn't speak English. English. I didn't speak English. I didn't speak English. English. Nice. I didn't speak English. I didn't yes. speak English. I didn't speak English. I didn't speak English. English. Nice. Speak English. Additionally, additionally, additionally You'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past. You'll be able to ask and 
Good, good, guys. It doesn't matter. No importa que no los escuche a todos, pero sí vamos a ir corrigiendo. Siempre traten para que los músculos empiecen a trabajar en inglés. Here, this word is going to see is going to be pronounced as a the able. 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 Almost there. Able. No able. o. No lleva o. Able. 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 Okay. Able. able. Now, able. say this with able. me, please. Digan esto conmigo. Blanco. 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 This conversational English lesson. This, this conversational, conversational English, 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 conversational lesson. English lesson will help you discuss your background. Will help, help you discuss your background. 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 Uh -huh. Help you. 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 Nice. In greater detail and get to know people. In greater detail and get to know people. Ah, we got another one here. Say this with me. Playa. 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 No O. People, no O. People. 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 Very good. You see? Little by little, guys. Pronunciation is very important. So, with the videos, I ask everybody to mute your microphones. Okay? So, there are no interruptions. Mute your microphones. And I stop my video because of the bandwidth. Ok, so acá todo el mundo con, con los micrófonos apagados. Yo quito el video por el ancho de banda que tengo acá. So, it's not interrupt. Please pay attention to this video. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the past using regular and irregular. Can you hear? Pueden escuchar? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Fantastic. Yes. Verbs. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English back then. Let me get started by presenting the structure. In our previous class, we discussed how to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be in the past. So we talked about the left side of this chart, as you can see there. And we also talked about making yes and no questions in the past. In today's lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of this whole thing together. And we're going to try to use both ways of talking about the past with the verb to be and with other verbs such as move. And so we're going to focus on creating statements either positive or negative as you can see there. Uh, that's the one that I had given earlier. I moved here 10 years ago and we're also going to talk about making negative statements in the past such as I didn't speak English then. Finally what we're going to do is we're going to make questions in the past and the whole goal here is to be able to use both ways of talking about the past, either with the verb to be, as you can see, it's slightly different, and also using the auxiliary did. Let me get started by making sense of the statements that we see towards the right side of this chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the formula real fast. In order for us to make sentences in the past, particularly positive sentences in the past, we're going to have a subject. And then that is going to be followed by a verb, the verb in its past form. And then that is going to be followed by 
a complement. So if I write down the example that we see on the very top, um, which says I moved here 10 years ago. Well, we can clearly see the subject is I. I'm going to go ahead and try to color that in green. Then we can see that the verb is moved. Notice that I have to change that to the past. For most verbs, we will simply add ed. That's what we call regular verbs. And for irregular verbs, um, then for those, you simply have to remember what they are. So for example, we have the verb teach, and then the past of that verb is taught. But I'll be talking about regular and irregular verbs in a different class. All right, guys, before we continue, what are the two different verbs that we have? Regular and irregular verbs. Exactly. Perfect. Regular and irregular verbs. What happened to the regular verbs? ¿Qué pasa con los regular verbs? In the end, mm -hmm. ed. We, have, we have to add ed. Exactly. You have to add ed or d if you already have the. For example, here, move is the verb. We already have e, so we just add ed. Okay? And what are the irregular verbs? Change the form of the verb. Exactly. It changes the form of the verb. Now, tip that I can give you, you have to memorize it. Y esto se los digo en español, guys, porque quiero que sea bien entendido. Muchas veces nosotros decimos, me cuesta hablar inglés. I'm going to turn the camera right now. Um, me cuesta hablar inglés, sin embargo, lo, la estructura es simple. Lo que no tenemos es vocabulario. Okay? So, you got to memorize verbs. Simple as that. Tienen que memorizarse verbos y vocabulario en general. So, you can produce, para que ustedes puedan producir. If there's no vocabulary, you're going to have a bad time. So, a recommendation, you need to learn at least five verbs or five new words every single day. Tienen que aprenderse por lo menos cinco verbos o cinco palabras nuevas todos los días. Lunes a sábado. Son 35 palabras a la semana entre verbos y vocabulario. 70 cada 15 días. 140 al mes. ¿Creen ustedes que después de uno o dos meses van a tener más vocabulario? Yes, you will. Yes. 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 Okay. yes. Now, another recommendation that I give you. Um, muchos toman listas de verbos y tienen verbos que nunca van a ocupar. All right? So, traten de ocupar verbos que les peguen a ustedes y sepárenlos. Los que se les agrega solo ed al final en una columna, los irregulares en otra columna. For example, there are some verbs that they don't change. Como por ejemplo, cut, cut, cut. Es lo mismo en las tres formas. Busquen todos los verbos que no cambian y se los aprenden un día, en un par de días. Luego, okay. un bloque de ed ending. Luego, un bloque de irregulares. For example, we have uh, drink, drunk, drunk. Yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write it down here. I want to show you something, guys. Here. So we have, for example, drink. Siempre aprendenselos así. Drunk. And then we have drunk. Drunk. Mm -hmm. Now, then we have. Give me a second. Then we have this one. Sing. Sang. Song. Okay. ¿Conocen algún otro que siga este mismo patrón? No. Now, aquí es donde uh, viene. Go, go when? That's irregular. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Wrong. Came, come, came. Casi, no? casi, casi. So, came, come, came. Okay. ¿Qué pasa? Tenemos el mismo, cambia el mismo. Okay. Por ejemplo, run, run. Run. 
So, la idea es esta, guys. Si ustedes se fijan acá, empieza con I. Luego sigue con A. Y luego sigue con U. Busquen en las listas de verbos todos los que siguen este mismo patrón. Y va a ser más fácil memorizárselos si saben que todos van igual. A, drink, sing, todos esos van igual. I, A, U. Y se los aprenden así. Aquí hay otro. Una manera cambia la misma manera que al principio. Una manera cambia la misma manera que al principio. La idea es que vayan encontrando patrones en los verbos y se los aprendan en bloques. ¿Ok? Es una de las maneras más fáciles que tenerlo todo desparramado. ¿Any questions so far? ¿Alguna pregunta? No, for the moment, no. Ok, good. So, what, what is, uh, I have a question, teacher. What, what is the, the, the third column? What is the conclusion? What time conclusion? Is okay, good. Third? I like that question. That's going to be the past participle. So we have, for mm -hmm. example, I'm going to do it here. So we have beber, bebí, bebido. Okay. Cantar. Canté, cantado. Entonces, ese ado, ido, generalmente, mira, y tú ya has cantado. Ya has nadado en el acelguate. Ya has comido, eh, ¿qué? Ya, ya has probado la tolchuco. Entonces, ese ado, ido, generalmente lo ocupamos en experiencias. Ese es el as parísico, que nos va a servir en los tiempos perfectos. ¿Estamos? Did I answer sí. your question? Yeah, thank you, teacher. All right, fantastic. So, guys, remember, learn the verbs in groups. It's going to be way easier. Va a ser más fácil. Let's go ahead and continue with the class. I also want to write down another quick example here. So, I'm going to say, I... took English classes for a year and then once again what I want you to notice is what happens at the bottom I want you to notice that we have a subject and I color that in green and then we have some sort of verb and then that is going to be colored in red and then the complement um, as you can see English classes for a year Let me talk about making negative statements in the past now. I'm going to go ahead. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and try to speed things up. What is the structure for simple past affirmative? ¿Cuál es la estructura para simple past affirmative? Subject. There are no, no Subject. Uh -huh. The verb must plus what complement. What happens the to the verb? verb? Verb in the past form. Exactly. Verb in past. And then? Compliment. The complement. Complement. Right. Give me some examples, please. With regular or irregular verbs. I, I went to the supermarket yesterday. Okay. I went to the supermarket yesterday. Nice. Give me another one, please. With the subject, she. She talked with her mom yesterday. She talked to her mom mm -hmm. yesterday. Okay. Cambiémosle el complemento de tiempo. How do you say, hace dos días? Two days ago. Nice, two days ago. How do you say, hace dos semanas? Two, two weeks, weeks ago. ago. Nice, how do you say, hace dos meses? Two, two months, months ago. ago. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hace dos años. Two, two years, years ago. ago. Two years uh -huh. ago. Two years. Hace ago. dos siglos. Ago. Two centuries ago. Uh -huh. ya, no, ya no le pega, ¿verdad? pero... As you can see, you can start <laughs> replacing. Now, give me an example with he, please. He ate a hamburger last night. Nice. He ate a hamburger last, last night. night. 
Nice. How do you say, él se comió una hamburguesa la semana pasada? He, he ate, ate a hamburger, hamburger last, week. Last, week. last week. Last week. Nice. How do you say, el mes pasado? Last month. Last month. Last month. Exactly. How do you say, el viernes pasado? Last Friday. Last, last, Friday. Friday. Last, Friday. Last, Friday. last Friday. Good. El año pasado? Last, last year. year. Last year. Good. This is a good exercise that you can do in order for you to get vocabulary. Vayan cambiando las piezas, que esto es como un rompecabezas. Okay? Nice. Um, now, give me an Got example it. with you. You. Mm -hmm. um, drank Coca-Cola the last weekend. Coca-Cola. Last, last weekend. Cola last weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, ¿por qué no le ponemos el artículo di? Porque eso sería español. El fin de semana pasado. Perdón, va aquí. Y esto es directamente un impacto del español al inglés. Y el otro motivo, el gramatical, es porque last weekend ya es específico. Porque fue el fin de semana pasado. Para eso ocupamos el artículo da, para ser específico con algo. Ok. Nice. Now, guys, okay. um, which one is the structure for negative? Auxiliar did. Subject. Uh -huh. Subject. Plus. Mm -hmm. The auxiliary negative. Which is? El cual es? Didn't. Yeah. Uh -huh. Didn't. Didn't. Uh, uh, the bear Plus the uh, bear. In the verb. simple, in, this, in the base form. Form. Nice, the verb in the form. base form. Nice. Plus? The complement. Plus complement. Vaya, guys, I'm, I'm going to give you a little trick. Les voy a dar un pequeño truquito. If you know how to make affirmative sentences, you know how to make negatives. Si ustedes saben cómo hacer las afirmativas, pueden hacer las negativas. Now, super quick, how do you say, yo no fui al supermercado ayer? I didn't go. Mm -hmm. uh, the supermarket, the supermarket yesterday. 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 That's right, I didn't go. Acá, ¿qué le cambiamos? I didn't go, go to the supermarket go yesterday. To the, super to the supermarket. That's right. How do you say, ella no habló con su mamá hace dos días? She, she didn't, didn't talk, talk to her mom, her mom two, days, two days ago. Ahí está. She didn't talk to her mom two days ago. How do you say, él no se comió una hamburguesa anoche? He, he didn't, didn't eat a hamburger, hamburger yesterday. Ah, hamburger. Nice, yes, right? So we got didn't. ¿Qué pasa con el verbo? Se va para base, That's, right? Base, yes. Sí. He didn't eat a hamburger last night. And the last one. <laughs> él no se tomó una Coca-Cola el fin de pasado porque ya se acabaron. <laughs> ah, perdón. He tú no te tomaste. Drink. <laughs> you don't drink. Uh, you, don't drink. You, you didn't drink. Uh, didn't. Uh, didn't. That's nice. Last you weekend. Coke. Drink because Coca-Cola last Coca weekend. Last weekend. Now, last weekend. Um, por motivo because. de salvarle la vida a todos, quiero darles la pronunciación de Coke. ¿Ok? Coke, uh -huh. como Coke. generalmente se dice, se pronuncia acá. Con la fuerza en la O. Coke. 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 Say with me. Coke. 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 Exactly. Coke. Yes. Coke. Um, Cuidado con la pronunciación de eso. Creo que ustedes ya más o menos saben por dónde va. Ah, solo. <laughs> Déjenlo ahí. En Coke. Ok. Coke. Nice. Now, as far as this... Um, how do we make questions? Yes, no questions. What is the structure for the questions? First, the auxiliary deal. Uh-huh. The auxiliary. Uh, subject. Okay. 
plus the uh, base form, the verb. Nice. Plus complement. Uh huh. Plus complement. And the question mark. And the question mark, exactly. Didn't. Now, ¿por qué, señores, le ponemos el verbo base en negativas y preguntas? Does anybody know? Because, Because the auxiliary is in past. Exactly. Good answer. Because the auxiliary is already in past. So, let's go ahead and play with this. Um, I'm going to copy this right here. Perdón por estarlo moviendo tanto. How do you say, fui al supermercado ayer? I went to the supermarket, the supermarket yesterday. yesterday. In question. Ah. Uh -huh. Did you? Did, 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 I, did, I, did I? Did I go? go. ¿Qué pasa? Go. Did I go? Did I go to the, the supermarket, supermarket, supermarket yesterday? Supermarket yesterday. Nice. Excellent. Habló con su mamá hace dos días. Siempre la entonación para arriba. ¿Qué le agregamos? What do we add? You. Mm, look at the structure. She. Ajá. Did she. Did you did. talk. Did she talk. Did she. She. Talk, talk her to mom. her mom. Las. Ajá. Uh, today. Two days ago. Two days ago. Aquí veo, veo que un poquito. Entonces, guys, the tip is this. Si tenemos ya la afirmativa, if we already have the affirmative, the only difference is that we add did and we change the verb. Okay? We add did and we change the verb. What is the difference with the affirmative? We add... Uh, did the structure and we change the verb okay now how do you say tomaste coca-cola el fin de pasado did you drink coke the last weekend did you drink coke last weekend and question mark si algún día les dejo tarea y no le ponen el question mark malo <laughs> Right? Now, Got I wanted it. to please pay attention to the intonation. Intonation is going to go up. Okay? So say it with me, please. Did you go to the supermarket yesterday? 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 Yesterday. Yesterday. Ah, como que le están jalando la oreja. Yesterday. 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 Nice. Yesterday. And the affirmative answer? Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, yes. I did. Or? Yes, I do. No. No. No, I, I didn't. <laughs> didn't. I didn't. Nice. That's good. As long as you're participating. Thank you, Benji. <laughs> you're welcome. Good. Repeat after me, please. Did she talk to her mom two days ago? Did you, did talk, talk, to did you talk to her to mom yesterday? You or she? She. 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 And what she. is the answer? She. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. She. 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 Mm. No. A ti. No. She. Les preguntan oh. con she. she. Contestan no. con she. 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 It's the only thing that changes. So, say with me, please. Did she talk to her mom two days ago? Did you talk to her mom two days ago? Again, don't worry about it. Do it again. Did she talk to her mom two days ago? Did she, did she talk to her mom? She did. Two days ago. Yes. Don't did, she, did she talk her with her mom? With her mom. Okay. Did she talk to? Did she talk to? Say one, please. Did she talk to? Did, did she, she, talk she talk to, talk to, to, to her, her mom? Did she talk to her? 
Did she talk, talk, talk to her? Did she talk to her mom? Did she talk to, talk to her mom? Mom. Mom. Dejen los labios pegados. Mom. 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 Two days ago. Two days ago. Two days ago. Y acá, generalmente la última vocal es lo que les digo, que es el rising intonation. Two days ago, and you go up. Two days ago. Two days ago. Days ago. Days ago. Good. One more time. Did she talk to her mom two days ago? Did she talk to her mom two days ago? Nice. Way better. Mucho mejor. Yes, she did. Yes, she yes, did. She did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. No, she didn't. No, no she, she didn't. 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 Nice. Did he eat a hamburger last night? Did he eat a hamburger last night? No. Um, sin saberlo, ustedes están aprendiendo los linking sounds. Por eso es que a veces no me entienden. No es lo mismo leer que escucharlo o hablarlo. Okay? Entonces aquí yo siempre les voy tratando de sacar lo mejor. Did he... 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 hamburger last night? Did he... Did he... Did he... Last night? Did he... Did he... Did he... Did he... Did he... Eat a hamburger last night. Did he? 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 Did Did he? 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 Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Exactly. Preguntan con he. Contestamos con he. Nice. And uh, the last one. Say with me, please. Did you drink Coca-Cola last weekend? Did, did you drink Coca-Cola Coca last, last weekend? weekend? Last weekend. Last weekend. Good. Vamos a ver si me, si me devuelven esta bola curva. What is the answer right there? Yes, I did. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. uh, yes, yes, I do. Yes, yes I, I did. did. I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. ¿Por qué? Aquí, porque aquí no podemos decir, yes, you did. Es como que me preguntan a mí, yo le contesto de aquel. ¿Ya? Es I, porque me están preguntando a mí. Very good, guys. So, now you have been able to use affirmative, negative, and question. Okay? Now, okay. How do we make WH questions? Do you know what the WH questions are? The WH words? Which? Yes. Yes. Which? How? When? What? Where? Where? How? What? When? Why? Where? Who? How many? Exactly. Now, what do you think is the structure for this one? ¿Cuál creen que es la estructura? WH question? WH. Uh -huh. WH Auxiliary. question. Auxiliary. The auxiliary did, mm -hmm. and the um, verb, then the subject. The subject. Bye, guys. La. To make ah, it yeah. easy. Es lo mismo que la pregunta. Okay? The only difference is que le ponemos la WH question al principio. Uh -huh. That's it. Esa es toda la respuesta. So... Vamos a, el inglés está lleno de patrones. It is full of patterns. Say with me, please. English is full of patterns. English, English is uh -huh. full of patterns. Pattern. English is full of patterns. Pattern. Acá. Pattern. 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 Ajá. Extendamos la N. Pattern. Pattern. Nice, nice, nice. So guys, pay attention. If you know how to make affirmative sentences, you can make negatives. If you know how to make affirmative sentences, 
You can make questions. If you know how to make questions, you know how to make WH questions. So, una estructura lleva a la otra. Okay? Now, um, acá, ¿por qué fuiste con tu... ¿Por qué fui al, al supermercado ayer? Como que no nos acordamos. Why? Why? Uh -huh. That's it. I... Why did I go to the supermarket yesterday? Say with me, please. Why did Why I go? Why did I go to the supermarket, to the supermarket yesterday? To the supermarket yesterday. Okay. Now, ¿cómo preguntamos? ¿Cómo fui al supermercado ayer? How. How did I go to the supermarket yesterday? How do we ask, como preguntamos, a qué hora fui al supermercado ayer? What time, time did you go to the supermarket yesterday? Exactly. What time did I go to the supermarket yesterday? Now, ¿con quién fui al supermercado? Who did I go to the supermarket yesterday with? Yesterday with. Este sí with, tiene un poquito with. de cambio. Como estamos preguntando con quién, le metemos el with al fondo. Mm. Pero de lo contrario, sigue la misma estructura, ¿verdad? Yes. So, that's it. Can I use when? ¿Puedo ocupar when? Yes. Yes. ¿Por qué fue? When. Ajá. Analyze. When it. did I go? When did I go to the supermarket? Exactly. Here, la única diferencia es el contexto. ¿Cuándo fui al super ayer? Es como que respeto respetuoso, ¿verdad? ya está ahí el tiempo y no lo podemos ocupar. Entonces ahí solo tengamos cuidado con el contexto. De lo contrario, la estructura es la misma. ¿Ok? Now. Si le quitáramos el two days ago, ¿puedo ponerle when did she talk to her mom? Can I ask this question? Right? Yes. Exactly. Aquí podemos ocupar when porque ya quitamos la expresión de tiempo. Entonces ya no es respeto respetuoso. Hoy sí ya tiene sentido. Good. Now... Um, how do you say a qué hora se comió la hamburguesa anoche? What time mm -hmm. did he eat the did hamburger? He eat the hamburger. He didn't eat hamburger. Yesterday. Nice. Yesterday. Yesterday. Exactly. So, ¿cómo? ¿Con quién te tomaste la Coca-Cola el fin de semana? ¿O quién, con quién tomaste Coca el fin de semana? Who did you drink the Coke last weekend with? With, muy bien. So, guys, we fall into the same thing. I'm going to send this to you. Don't worry about it. And again, if you can make affirmative, you can make negative questions and WH. Now, um... Give me a second. Yes, I am sharing. Oh, thank you, Kelly. So, guys, um, todo este tiempo, ya entiendo por qué. Remind me of sharing the, the, the image. No tengan pena. Yo pensé que les estaba compartiendo la imagen que estaba en la anterior. Yo bien emocionado señalándole que aquí. Que no. Ok. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'm going to send this document to you. And thank you for letting me know. Eso me pasa. Cambiar de pantalla en el, en el share. A veces me enchivolo. Okay? So here you have the structure. I'm going to send it to you so you can pay attention to it. Para que la puedan ver. Now, ¿cómo contestamos? How do we ask WH questions? Do you know? No? No worries. No. I don't remember. Don't worry, that's why you're here. Form, the same form plus complement. No? 
Almost there. Answers will be affirmative or negative statements. Acá ya no ocupamos sí o no. Aquí si queremos contestar, vamos a hey. ocupar cualquiera de estas dos formas. Hey, um, let me see. David, when did you go to the supermarket? Can you hear me, David? Hello. Mm -hmm. When did you go to the supermarket? ¿Cuándo fuiste al supermercado? I went to the supermarket um, yesterday. Exactly. I went, hoy sí estoy compartiendo, ¿verdad? Okay. Yes. yes. I went to yes. the supermarket yesterday. Y si, David, y si David, si no fuiste al super, ¿cómo me dijeras? I didn't went to I the didn't. supermarket yesterday. I didn't go. I didn't go. I didn't go. I didn't I didn't go. go. Exactly. So this is how you answer. Um, let me see, Yadera. I didn't go. Yeah. Hey, um, did Maria? Bueno, give me a second. Could, could you repeat, please? Yes. When did Maria talk to her mom? When? Oh. ¿Cuándo habló María con su mamá? She María talked mm -hmm. her mom two days ago. Two days ago. Okay. So, guys, así es como se contestan. Now, this class is a little bit heavy. Esta clase es como bastante peca eh, pesada porque estamos con estructura y es bastante, pero no todas van a ser así. Not every class are going to be like this. Okay. So, guys, how do we ask WH questions? ¿Cómo contestamos preguntas de WH? Answer will, with, with affirmative and negative statements. Exactly. No importa en qué tiempo, presente, pasado o futuro, así se contestan las WH questions, con las afirmativas y negativas de cada tiempo. Okay? Now, I know it's a lot. Do you have any question about this? No. no, teacher. Okay. All right. No problem. Now, we are also, and it's just a little bit right here. We are also going to be working with the past of B. Do you know what is the past of B? Was, where? Was, anywhere. Exactly. So, Okay, todavía estoy en el documento. I just wanted to double check. Double check es como revisar. How do you say revisar? Double check. Double check. All right. Double check. Nice. So, this is what I'm going to do. We have was and where. When do we use was, guys? Um, third person. Uh huh. Which will be? I, I, uh -huh. first, he, and third person. He, it, I, he, she, he, he, it, it, nice. it. Podemos decir she, he, I, it. Memorícenselo como, como ustedes, les salga mejor, pero este es generalmente el estándar. Okay? Good. When do we use where? They, you, we, they, we, they, we, they, we, they, we, they, we, they, nice. they, they. Fantastic. So, ¿estabas en clase anoche? Yes. Do you, you stay in class? No. no. Were you oh. in class yesterday? No. Last night. Uh -huh. You was. Uh, no, you were. You were, were you, were in, you, were. you, you were. in class. Were you, were. were you in class were. last night? Uh -huh. Ahí vamos. Last, last night. <laughs> okay. you in class last night? <laughs> How do we say yo estaba en clase anoche? I was in class last night. Last night. Last night. Uh -huh. I was in class. class. I was in class last night. Last night. Last night. ¿Cuál es la estructura? I was staying. Subject. 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 
Uh -huh. Auxiliary. Was and where. Was and Pass where. Of B. Plus. Was and where. Plus. 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 Complement. 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 Nice. What is the negative form? Yo was no estaba en clase anoche. I wasn't in class last night. I wasn't in class last night. In class last night. Class last night. What is the difference of the structure? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre la estructura? Wasn't. Wasn't. The auxiliary. That's it. Wasn't, que es was not. Or weren't, que es were not. Were not. Were not. Good. Y un truquito con estas. Generalmente, las preguntas, lo que se hace es que se cambie la posición, las yes, no, del auxiliar con el sujeto. So, le damos un switch. Mm -hmm. How do you say, como preguntamos, estaba yo en clase anoche, como que no se acuerdan. Was I, was I, was I, was I, was I in class was last, I, night? Last, last night? Last night. Ahí está. Was so, class, what night? is the structure, guys? ¿Cuál es la estructura? Mm -hmm. Auxiliary. To be. Oh, B is clear. Plus verb. Plus and where. Plus uh -huh. subject. Plus and where. Mm -hmm. subject. Plus subject. Plus subject. Plus complement. Plus complement. Ahí está. Simple as that. Solo venimos y le damos vuelta a este con este. Now, mm -hmm. para trenzarla bien, ¿cómo creen que hacemos las WH questions? ¿Qué se acuerdan? Es que, que, que the, the same. It's the same, right. En prácticamente todos los tiempos, la estructura es la misma. ¿Pero qué le ponemos al principio? Doble H. Doble H. Doble H. El WH. Doble H. Ahí está. Doble es el WH. So, Doble ¿Cómo H. preguntamos por qué estaba yo en clase anoche? Why? 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 ¿Y cómo contestamos las preguntas WH? How do we answer WH questions? Es lo mismo. Así que si ustedes pueden hacer estas, pueden hacer las negativas, porque el único cambio es el wasn't. Si pueden hacer afirmativas, solo le dan vuelta y pueden hacer preguntas yes, no. Y si pueden hacer preguntas yes, no, solo le meten el WH. So, como ustedes pueden ver, guys, el inglés tiene su patrón. ¿Okay? Si ustedes empiezan a identificar las estructuras y tienen el vocabulario para hacerlo, el inglés no va a ser tan complicado ni les va a dar tanto miedo como mucha gente les da miedo. ¿Okay? So, let me ask you something. ¿Creen que los que no se conectaron ahora la van a tener difícil mañana? Probablemente. Probably, right? <laughs> sí. So, that's, that's the importance, guys, of you logging in every single night. Okay? So, espero que la estructura les haya sido un poquito más simple o, entre comillas, sencilla, because it's not easy. So, espero que hayan entendido un poquito más. Any question, let me know. ¿En qué tienen que hacer ahora? Practice. Practice, practice, and practice. Right. Like going to the gym. Uno no va a ser cholo en dos días. Uno no va a bajar la panza en dos días. It's the same. If you want to use English for something, just do your best. Aquí no vale cutting corners. To cut a corner, eso será algo chambón. So please don't cut corners. All right. Try to log in every single day. Try to practice. Mañana va a ser un poquito más de hablar. Pero como vi que la estructura estaba un poquito más, un poquito débil, pues entonces decidí reforzarla. Ok. So guys, thank you very much for being here tonight. My name is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo.
Have a good night, guys. And Thank you if so you much. have time, practice. No hay tarea para mañana porque es un montón. Pero si ustedes pueden, hagan oraciones. Y la misma oración, para que se acostumbren, hagan la negativa, luego le hacen pregunta y luego le hacen WH para que vayan trabajando con la misma estructura. All right? Okay. okay. So guys, All thank right. you very much good for logging in. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. So much. Out of here. Sure. Stand libres. See you go, tomorrow. Go, go, go. See you tomorrow. <laughs> good night. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 B